Hey everyone, the intro to this is not going to be long at all because I have a fast food haul coming at you. I This is my lunch, it's about 3 o'clock, I am so excited to eat it and I'm going to just get into it. I have ordered my favorite things from my favorite fast food restaurants. I've already done a, a Taco Bell haul, I've already done a KFC mukbang, so KFC and Taco Bell are not included in this and I did not include McDonald's because I want to do a McDonald's breakfast food favorite item because I love McDonald's breakfast more than anything. If you watch my vlogs, I go there almost every single day, I love it so much. So that is coming, so I'm going to be doing all the other fast food restaurants that I have not already done or am planning on doing. And these three just take the cake for me. They're amazing. We have Wendy's, we have Burger King, and we have some El Pollo Loco. Okay, and we have my favorite drinks, and I'm just so excited. So I'm going to just get right into it. The first being Wendy's. I am so I love Wendy's more than anything. I just think it is so, so yummy, and I'll show you what I got from there. I don't use any sauces. I got the seasoned cut fries, which I think Wendy's has some of the best fries. Mmm. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. The fries are so good. They have the most seasoning of all the fast food restaurants. They have the, the best flavor. And I also think they're the best medium between the fat fries and skinny fries. I just think they're so good. They're amazing, they're so salty. Usually I salt my fries extra, but these are the perfect amount of salt, so good. Mmm. And then my favorite thing, I get chicken nuggets pretty much at every fast food restaurant, it's like in and out or something. So, they have these spicy chicken nuggets, which are the best chicken nuggets in all the land, they're my favorite. They are better than McDonald's chicken nuggets. I crave Wendy's chicken nuggets on the regular. They're attached to each other. So let's just try this one right here. Mm. I love it. There's never gristle in it. Mmm. I know there's like a nasty fast food challenge where people like maybe get gross food, but I want to eat good food. Because I enjoy eating so much. So, mmm. So good. I love Wendy's so, so much. And then. Of course, I got a Frosty, which they give you a little spoon. They do give you two sauces. I didn't ask for these, but they came with them. Barbecue and buttermilk ranch. I don't, I've never eaten sauces. It's not a health thing, obviously. I just don't like it. But let's have a little bit. It melted a little bit. I post made this. It melted a little bit, but oh my god, it's still so yummy. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. That is so... Oh my god, it's so amazing. Oh, there's another drink right here that's very desserty. Oh yeah. I want to get into it, but that's from Burger King. So let's go on. This, the Oreo milkshake from Burger King. I love it so much. They gave us a straw. They did give us a straw with that. It's going to be kind of hard to drink. Sometimes you have to like scoop it up, but since it's melted a little... Mmm. Mm. Mm. This is heaven. Holy cow. Mmm. 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 Why is that so good? Why is that so good? Okay, I'm still gonna eat that by the way. So if you guys want the mukbang portion of this video, like you wanna like eat lunch with me. That'll be the end. I'm just doing like the haul harsh portion right now. Just to see if you guys want to see what I got. Okay, more napkins. Always a good thing. Receipts. Okay. So like I said, I get mostly chicken products everywhere. I don't love chicken tenders from Burger King. I just don't. But I do love their chicken fries. They now have spicy hot chicken fries and jalapeno chicken fries. But these regular chicken fries are life. Mmm. I used to eat these every single day. There was a Burger King really close to my house like two houses ago <laughs> and I used to eat these every day oh my god and after music videos I would eat these because I wouldn't eat all day and then I would go and get two of these mm -hmm. why are chicken fries so good I'm glad they made it permanent because they they had them and then they took them away and I'm like no these are permanent right if they're not we're gonna have some issues big time trust um, and then I did get fries because I kind of felt bad like post meeting just chicken fries. But I do like their fries. But do you see what I mean? They're a little fatter. Little small fries, I guess. I mean, 
they're good. I'm a fry whore, so I love fries, but they're not my fave. But I get them, clearly. And if I go through the drive-thru, I always get fries, too. Even if it's working. Like, I always do. I just need fries, and I go, by the way, I'm going to be using this as water. I'm going to just be washing down everything. It's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Uh, mm, yum, yum, yum. Okay. So moving on to El Pollo Loco, which is going to be a little weird to go because this is like like kind of the same kind of food and now going to El Pollo Loco, which is very different. But we're going to make that transition together. Mm, Wendy's fry. Mm, okay. You're going to eat, Trisha, but you got to work first. These are good. Oh my god, I gotta have one more of these guys. Sorry, these are just so good. I love spicy chicken. Mmm, why is it so good? Why is it so good? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. So amazing. Okay. Final. I'll put it loco. So I obviously got a lot of chicken from all these other places, so. I didn't get chicken there. I got all my favorite sides from El Pollo Loco. And we're going to get into that in one minute. I have to take a little water break. As much as I love me my Oreo shake. I feel all congested from it. <laughs> okay. Yay, I love when they give me plastic forks. So I literally have no idea where my utensils are. Ooh, there's like nastiness on it. Okay. Hmm, there's like cheese on this or something. That's okay because I ordered mac and cheese. Spoiler alert. Okay. Yummy. Okay, so I used to live in this place in Sherman Oak. Oh my god, they put gravy on my mashed potatoes! Oh, the disappointment's real. I can't eat it. Ugh. I hate gravy. Well, I got mashed potatoes, but I guess that was a fail. Okay. But I used to get a small mashed potatoes with no gravy, mac and cheese, and Spanish rice every single day at this place because it was like super, super cheap um, right by my house in Sherman Oaks, and I would get that before I'd go strip. That was like my meal of a stripper. Mm, mac and cheese. Now, I have not had El Pollo Loco since then. That was probably five years ago. So we'll see if it still tastes as good as I remember. This looks extra cheesy. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Now I remember I love it. The noodles. This is a little cheesy, like too cheesy for my like personal preference, but still really good. The noodles are so soft and like overcooked. And I love that in mac and cheese. I don't like hard noodles in mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. This is really, really good. You guys know I'm a bougie girl. I love my steakhouse mac and cheeses, but this is so good. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Pretty good. I love it so much. Yummy. Mm-mm. -mm -mm. So good. Okay. So, obviously, like I said, I got the mashed potatoes, but I'm not going to eat them because they're gravy on them. So, this is the rice I used to always get. And this looks a little redder than I remember the rice to be. I'm going to be so full after this. Eh. Oh, no. It just looked like that from the steam. So, there's the rice. And I love eating Mexican rice, Spanish rice, whatever you want to call it. Every time I go out to Mexican, I always ask for extra rice because I don't like beans. So, I send some beans can I have extra rice. Mmm. A little different than I remember, but still good. It kind of actually tastes like El Torito, minus the little tomatoes in it, which is good for me because I don't like tomatoes. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm actually really feeling this rice. It, it feels a little more healthy. <laughs> it gives me a little more like substance in my stomach. Mmm. Mmm. This is just really, really good. I can't stop eating it. Mmm. Yum. Alright, guys. Wow. Oh my god. I'll put a local rice here on point, actually. I love this stuff. Mmm. Alright. This concludes the whole portion of this video. 
Um, if you guys want to continue eating with me a little bit longer, and then just keep watching. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys are clicking that now. Any other food testings, tryings that you want me to do, definitely let me know. Or any other food hauls. And any of those like snack challenges that are going on now, like the Oreo cookie challenge, pop tart challenge, any of that stuff, definitely let me know too because I want to do them. I just feel like I'm so overwhelmed with all these like food challenges that like I can't keep up with it. So definitely let me know. And um, all right, so you guys, peace out and mukbang. Let's get started. This rice was really good. Everything I ate was like really really good, but then I started getting all this rice. I can't stop eating it now. Mmm. Yum. Okay, so I hope you guys have gotten food at this point. Like, I hope you're eating with me. Mmm. So, I was on a bit of a Snapchat rant last night. Mmm. If you guys don't follow me, I'm Trisha on YT. I was on a little bit of a rant last night. Nothing crazy, but... The internet is so full of, like hateful people like you know what I mean like people are just really hateful and I'm not just talking about my relationship that I'm in right now but also like my friendships my family like I just the, the more I think about it the more I realize like how hateful people are like how crazy people are once because it's like someone had tweeted to me just recently actually as of the day of filming this they just tweeted uh you seem to get more hate now than when you used to troll so when I used to troll do troll videos I used to like say stuff that would piss people off on purpose yada yada and I was like you're right it's so funny and I was like why is that like why do people hate me more now than when I was putting out really offensive videos and I think theory here it's like when people recognize that you're you're doing better for yourself like you're you're happier like yeah I always ha I always continuously made more money throughout the years um but I don't think that bothered people as much as them seeing me like truly happy like actually like loving life anyways I just thought it was really interesting it was an interesting thing that someone else like noticed because I kind of didn't notice until he said it and I was like hmm let's ponder this shall we um but there's that <laughs> um what else um I have a music video coming up I should not be eating like this before a music video but Whatever, I'm gonna dance it off, right? <laughs> That's what I tell myself all the time. Um, it's gonna be a really different video than anything I've ever done. The song is completely different than anything I've ever done. I'm really excited. It's like more of a serious, not serious song, but I took it more seriously. Well, like my fat chairs and the other are like very like joke songs. Like this isn't like a serious like melodramatic song, but it's more of like a song I feel like a pop star would record, like Britney Spears or something, you know? So. I'm excited to see what you guys think about all that. Mm, top is from Boston Proper. I know people will probably ask me. I have Adidas leggings on right now. So ratchet. I have a ratchet mess sometimes. Uh, mm, this is the best video idea ever. Fast food haul? Mm hmm. I think someone did do this. I want to say Shane did it with Drew a while ago. But I want to say it was like the nasty fast food challenge. I don't watch it. <clears throat> I know, bad friend. I don't watch food videos when I'm on a diet because, bitch, I'm going to have to order everything they have. So I don't watch food diets. And I remember I was on a, a food videos when I'm on a diet. I remember I was on a diet. So I never actually watched it. So I don't know if they ordered gross food or if it was just, you know, fast food that was just gross feeling in their stomach. I don't know. Mmm. I'm actually going to go ahead and film my March favorites after this. I'm just sure what I've done before. Because my lips are probably messed up now, but whatever. Mm. I'm going to wear the same top. I hope y'all don't mind. <laughs> it's an interesting thing as a YouTuber. Or when you do make videos or whatever. It's interesting because, like, you know, you watch people. Like, I watch beauty gurus, like Jacqueline Hill. Jacqueline Hill like, always seems to be wearing something different every every single video. I'm like, how do they keep, like, and trust me, I'm so guilty of this because I'm such a shopaholic, so I was still need to buy new tops and not wear the same thing twice, but I start running out of tops, so I'm like, Trish, you're going to have to be doing two videos in the same top, so I hope y'all don't mind, I don't think you guys mind, but crazy people might, <clears throat> went down the wrong side, let's get some more of these Wendy's french fries, I love Wendy's french fries the best, okay, Wendy's french fries the best, chicken fries from, um, 
Birkin's my favorite today, and then the El Pollo local rice. That's my. Yeah. All of it with everything. Mmm. My happy place. My fries. Um. And that was no shade at Jacqueline Hill because I love her. And that girl is so nice to me. Like, so nice. Like, I'm so shocked because a lot of those, like, bigger, well known beauty gurus who, like, really just focus on tutorials and, like, that kind of stuff, they don't like me. I don't really know why. Like, I know I had an issue. I won't say her name, but there's an issue with a girl I had. Not an issue, but literally she just, like, said something mean about me in a video. And I was, like, a big fan and I watched it. And my heart sank. I was like, oh! Okay, um, so I just kind of know, and there's another one that she's friends with that they just don't like me, and they've told like people that I know. It's like it's so weird to me. I mean, this is all like years ago, so whatever. But Jacqueline Hill has been nothing but nice to me, and it's so great because she she's such to me she's like iconic YouTuber because she does you know stuff. She has her highlighter with Becca Cosmetic. I mean, she does like big things you know with all these makeup companies. So I think it's it was amazing, and she just wrote me a really nice DM when I was going through some shit, and she just was relating to it and. It made me feel like I'm not alone, and I love that. So, Jacqueline Hill, you're amazing if you're watching. I love, there's a lot of beauty gurus who are nice to me now. Um, not, not saying now because, but just people I've met. Like, I'm Nikki Tutorials, who I've not met, but she's very sweet to me in her videos and on Twitter. Uh, I just like female YouTubers being there for female YouTubers. I just like that. I mean, you know, we all should support each other, but females are vicious. Females are vicious, vicious people, so I like ones that are nice. Oh. Rachel Talbot, always so sweet. Always sends me really sweet text messages and encouraging words about my dancing and music and all that stuff because she's a musician, obviously herself, and a dancer, so I always love that. And um, Crazy Ray Ray, when I met her at the American Idol thing years ago, so sweet, so humble. You would, like, I knew who she was and I knew how many subscribers she had, but you would never think she was, like, this big to do on YouTube just because her attitude was so sweet and nice to everybody. Let's just call this spreading the love. I'm spreading YouTuber love. Who else can we talk about? Mm. I don't know. That's pretty much it for the beauty pick. I'm going to have one more of these and I'm going to put the rest of this in the fridge. And yes, I'm going to warm it up. Mmm. Why is it so good? But I love people who love on people. Look. I used to be subscribed to people for drama for sure, but it does get to be a lot after a while. You're just kind of like, okay, I'm over this. Like, I want to watch Happy. 